This screencast details how to use two heater models to model a heat exchanger in Aspen Plus software. To begin, open your detailed heat exchanger simulation, go to the simulation environment and delete the heat X block. Create two heater models, one to represent the cold side and one to represent the hot side. Connect the inlet and outlet streams appropriately. Click on the drop down menu on the material stream and choose a heat stream. Connect a heat stream from the hot heater to the cold heater unit. Press the green next arrow to enter information about the cold side heater. Specify that there is no pressure drop across the unit. Press the green arrow to enter information about the hot side heater. Specify that there is no pressure drop and that the outlet vapor fraction is zero. You are now ready to run the simulation. Click on the cold side heater results to see the heat duty. Note that this is the same value as for the shortcut and detailed heat exchanger methods. Click on the hot side heater results. You can see that the hot side is losing an equivalent amount of heat through the heat stream. Also note that the hot side outlet temperature is the same as in previous screencasts. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist for an application of the concepts learned in Chapter 4, Heat Exchangers, to a chlorobenzene production plant. For further Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.